What's the reality of this? Let's turn to Rod McKenzie, who's spokesman for the Road Haulage Association, and so many of your members, Rod, are going to be affected by this because those heavy vehicles, this is obviously, these lanes are normally their homes. Morning to you. Good morning, Nick. I think there are a couple of things about smart motorways. Uh, as with so many bright ideas, it sounds like a good idea because it's a way of cutting congestion. You buy yourself an extra lane on a motorway. Why not? What's not to like? But there are loads of problems with it. And firstly, the problems have been all the roadworks that have uh, mm. disrupted traffic all over the place. You talked about some of the issues. And the, the other thing that worries us is these uh, refuge areas. Uh, they, some of them are very far apart, and that is a worry if you break down. Will you make it to the refuge area? And then if you don't, you're stopping in a live lane. The other thing that to worry about is the overhead gantries, which are supposed to flag up that uh, there's a red X, so don't go down there because there's a problem. Uh, not all of them are, are yet operational, and they certainly need to be so that we can close live lanes quickly if uh, 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 tragedies like the one you've spoken about are to be avoided. Yeah, absolutely right. While I have the benefit on the line, we're talking a lot about ULES, which of course has come into operation here in the, in the very heart of London, if you will, the central London zone. Now, the impact for some of your members is going to be huge. We're talking about £100 here. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we think it's simplistic and we think it's anti-lorry. Lorries only account for 6% of NOx emissions in London. 6%. And yet they're being clobbered with a £100 a day fine if they're older than 2014 registered. Uh, and, and here's the thing. Uh, delays in London have got worse. Traffic volume has fallen by 7%, but delays are up 18% in, in, in recent years and only half of the lorry fleet is this compliant Euro 6. So uh, mostly they're small and medium sized businesses. The other 50% will be hit by this massive £100 a day charge. But your members, your men and women who drive those lorries, they want to breathe, and for their children, they want to breathe clean air, don't they, Mr McKenzie? Absolutely. And we all want to breathe clean air and we should be, uh, we, we should be aiming for that. All for that. What we're talking about here is phase and first of all, uh, Mayor Khan, actually the air in London is getting cleaner all the time anyway. Uh, but it is important that we phase out the older lorries. But a, a lorry lives for 10 years and they cost £85,000. So if you've got a pre-2014 lorry, you need a bit more time to upgrade to a Euro 6. I'm grateful for that, Rod. Thank you indeed. Rod McKenzie, you're with the Road Haulage Association talking about the lifespan of a lorry and the impact of ULA.